but what i worry about and this is the more serious situation if as per his predictions and that of his ecosystem were largely liberals or who are described as liberals they were all projecting ki growth in india during the last fiscal year for which we just got the figures you cited them seven, would be around 5% now i ask you if the world bank the un system the rbi they are all pr predicting 6.5% and above and if you choose to predict 5% or thereabouts is that a prediction or is that wishful thinking you don't want india to do well therefore you come up with these lower estimates all right anyone can make a mistake but after you've got a figure of let's say and i'm now going to break it down gst collection i thought was for the 14th month running above 140000 crores it was 157000 crores if you look at the last quarter's growth if you look at the overall growth 7.2% but why do you feel unhappy when such statistics are ruled out now i am in a happy mood because in every program i go to and we talk about 9 years of the modi government it's not just us saying that this was the situation in 2014 this is the situation today in 2023 but you have Ernest and Young earlier saying by 2040 you will be a 28 trillion dollar economy. You have Morgan Stanley talking about the last decade and in terms of what all has gone right. Why do some people, instead of joining in the celebration, choose to put what I think is a a false construct on it? One of the economists who's been joined with them. he said nahi but you know this rate of growth is 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 you sh should not take it too seriously because there are structural problems structural flaws if you look at the last this is all gibberish once you make a projection that your economy is going to grow at 5% or 5.2% and you end up with 7.2% the intelligent thing to do is hey i'm sorry i was wrong i'm glad now i think if there are any other correctives to to be taken please take them but you should be part of that celebration and the part of that effort for india to be a vikshit desh or a developed country by 2047 how can you predicate your entire thing on saying india this is going wrong that is going wrong i want to conclude with a small piece of information which many of you may not know i am very used uh, very fond of recalling the work of a cambridge historian angus madison who said that india's contribution of the global to the global gdp was in the vicinity of 25% in 1700 but there's another statistic i want to give you at the time of the mughal empire the mughal emperor had given the designation of jagat seet or banker of the world to one set of people in calcutta because their wealth was more than that of the british empire in 1720 this is that is what you have to reclaim the economy the culture the heritage and here you we all right we go became independent in 1947 but we define our entire 7000 year old civilizational historical dna in terms of that 190 years when we went from 25% after 1750 and i don't know i mean there was who was this gunar medal or somebody who said the british le elite left india leaving behind an identical indian elite so i don't know whether so, so i think the pm make two point one is viksit desh by amrit kaal 2047 and shed your colonial mindset i think the, some of these guys are having difficulty because they run away from the local domestic arena periodically go to london or uh, Uh, uh the big apple or san francisco somewhere and then identify with people who organize program i wish somebody would check their antecedents because some of those organizers really are open proponents of well i heard somebody use the term i could have used a more absolutely absolutely i agree with you there is a there is a organized effort it's 
to say that their lobbies for X, Y, and Z is too mild. There's an organized effort, obviously financed by someone, say, hey, India can do no right. So anything that you're doing well economically, you're doing well in something else, uh, the India's infrastructure is beginning to take a new shape, and you, are, you, know, you have this, uh, what do you call it, uh, whining and carping.